Hey guys, me from work again. Quick example of a more experienced scammer with much better English. So I want you to meet Jimmy Barnes. Hello beautiful, thank you for being an amazing, amazing fan. Your like on my spot attracted me to your profile. Please respond, or please respond as I look forward to hearing from you. Right? And that's not the experience part. I said, you are surely not approaching an Australian while pretending to be another Aussie because your English and deep knowledge of Jimmy will not stand up in any way. I'm just giving you a chance to crawl away now before you embarrass yourself any further. Hey, mate, no worries, he says. I'm not trying to pretend to be someone I'm not. To which I sent laughing emojis. I said, too late, mate, with that dodgy intro. Really? This is my confidential account on which I get to talk to my fans around the globe. I just hope I got to talk to you. You don't have to be a little bit sceptical. I understand the sceptical attitude because of the situation around the world now. If it's okay by you, we can get to talk so you can know it the real me. Right? I said, oh my God. I said, you're really going for it then. Fine, let's do this. You won't mind answering some questions only Jimmy and his fans would uh, know then, would you? Stuff you can't Google, as in not on the internet. Doing this? I just want you to believe it. Maybe at the end you would stop questioning me, lol. If you don't want to talk, I understand. So I showed again where I asked, do you mind answering some questions? I said, and your English is slipping. I told you, this is where I come when I need a break from the world. I don't mind, though, just trying to be honest with you. I said, uh-huh. So you won't mind answering some questions then that Jimmy and fans would know. Just stuff that isn't online. And just keep in mind, I'm an Aussie, so there's plenty of stuff I know. Ugh, he says, you seem to have talked to a few person claiming to be me. I said, ugh, it appears you aren't willing to answer the questions then, ipso facto relegating yourself into the same category of fake. Okay, ask me the questions. I said, brilliant. What is Jimmy's favourite song to sing live and why? The why is very important. You have 20 seconds as this is common knowledge. Oh, and who is Mark to Jimmy? So he had put in an entire paragraph, which I didn't screenshot because I didn't think he'd delete it, um, going on about how much he loved the song Working Class Man, which was copy and pasted from Jimmy's own book, right? So he'd gone into the book and he'd copy pasted it. I, and my response was wrong. And then around Mark, he said, ah, Mark, well, let me tell you, Mark is actually my brother. We've had some great times together, both on and off the stage. He's a talented musician himself, and we've shared many memorable moments making music as a family. It's always special when we get to perform together. Again, not quite accurate, but not wrong, right? So again, he's copy-pasted this, right? I said, you got the wrong song. Good copy and paste, though. How? He says. I said, it was well done. So where are you chatting from, he tries. I said, you've done some research at least. Better than some fakes, but not good enough, dude. And at that point, he deleted that uh, thing about working class man. I said, deleting parts of the message is stupid. It just shows you're a fake. You think I didn't screenshot this as I was seeing this? And I'm kicking myself that I didn't. I said, I'll add this to my list of scammer accounts to send to Jimmy. Maybe he'll include this in um, his next warning post. And I cut and pasted, showed where Dewey Barnes had shown all these fake accounts. I said, well done though, you were better than some of them, I'll give you that much. So he's seen that 10 minutes ago. Um, I've reported the account several times, I don't think he'll come back. But this is more of an example of someone who will go to the extent of doing some research. Still not good enough to fool anyone, not a real fan, and not anyone who's Australian. Um, but he just gets enough detail right that he may fool someone who's not as big a fan or perhaps English is their second language. Um, and obviously deleting that whole paragraph about the song Working Class Man, which was cut and paste. And he deleted it because I mentioned cut and paste. So yeah, he'd absolutely gone and cut and pasted it out of the book. So that was another one <laughs> this morning. Um, so a bit more experienced. Have a great day. Bye.